welcome back. We are in Casitas 5 at Coronado Springs Car Park. Um, we come from all the glamorous places. Um, ready for another day in Orlando. Today is going to be a super day. We are heading down to Celebration this morning um, for some breakfast. We're going to have a look around there at all the Halloween merch uh, and all the Halloween decorations, should I say. Um, and then after, go. And to, and to get a Starbucks from my favourite Starbucks. And James is going to try doing the caramel ribbon crunch. No, today. Stephen, you can't. You don't have to say it like that. It has to. You have to say it with with more intensity and more oh, man, see, personality. Man. I'm going to have a caramel ribbon crunch. <laughs> and if he orders it like that, I'll stand drop a yard. <laughs> So we are heading to Celebration for breakfast and a mooch around there, then we're off to an antique mall. I'm really excited about this um, because I just love to have a, 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 a snoot around these type of places and see what you can find. There'll be some hidden gems, there'll also be a lot of tat, um, but there might be some hidden gems. And then this evening is the event of all events, it's Mickey's Not So Scary, um, which we can't wait for tonight um, Stephen will turn 40 when the when the clock strikes midnight um, but first of all we need to go to all-star music and pick up Lucy and Steve Yoo -hoo! Yoo -hoo! Good, morning. good morning good morning so we have made it to celebration the temperature is warm 85. <laughs> we are going to have a walk around the lake. We're going to go, as I say, go for breakfast. Um, Steve is going to put his drone up um, so we'll get some great footage and you'll be able to see the scale of celebration from that. I'm just about to get some hearing back after Jamie and Lucy just spotted a pumpkin patch. <laughs> we, got, we, we got very excited over this pumpkin patch. It did look cool. Um, some houses are already dressed for Halloween, so we're going to check some of those out. The shops here are also great. There's a Christmas yeah. shop, but we need to stay out of there because I've got far too much Christmas decorations we don't need anymore. The ice cream shop is very good. Ice cream shop is very good, but we, I'm hungry, actually. I'm starving. I'm I really hungry. So I'm looking forward to sitting down and having a breakfast. Squirrel! <laughs> Sorry, we seem to go crazy over squirrels. We see them every day at home. Squirrels. Um, so let's go now and have a walk around this beautiful lake and try not to get eaten by an alligator. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. Trunks full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is in young Don't need anybody else We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna dance on our own We came to party all night long downtown diner we're all now deciding what it is that we might want to eat what we are really deciding is should we go pig or should we go really pig oh, we go pig we go pig um i've just ordered a nice coffee stephen's gone for a coffee and then we're just perusing the menu now um to have a look at what we actually fancy <laughs> So 
I ordered an iced coffee. And when it came, I thought, well, I have not ordered a Coke. Has anybody ordered a Coke? That is an iced coffee. I'm probably not going to sleep for about a week. Stephen, how about your coffee? I'm more concerned about the fact you're not going to sleep for a week. He doesn't sleep, the best of times. The coffee is lovely. The filled coffee in America is always generally really nice to have. <laughs> Stephen's just chucking into Steve's breakfast before he, before he tackled his own. What's the peanut butter French toast like? Saltiness on the peanuts, oh. sweetness on the chocolate, and the texture is just like melts in your mouth. You had the celebration platter, didn't you? Yeah. And the side of taste top. Cremated eggs, so I don't like runny yolk. And this is lovely, really lovely. And I got the same, but my side was an English muffin. That is really good, isn't it? That is filthy. Mm. I'm a little bit funny with sausage. Um, I just do like a Richmond, which is what it is. These are good. These are really good. Mm. Mm. It normally has a bit more girth, but it's quite happy with it. No. Stick a fork in it, I'm done. So we finished breakfast in downtown diner and the total check was $77 for all four of us. Are now out of um, Starbucks. No. Celebration. Diner. Diner. Start again. We are now out of downtown diner. Breakfast was super. Uh, we loved it. And then with Stevens just nipped in Starbucks to get himself a coffee. And now we're going to go for a walk around the lake and hope Stephen doesn't get eaten by an alligator. So we are just um, getting some drone footage. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't know. Oh. Are you watching it? I don't know. But the, the, the check objects. Let's have a look. It's got to be over here, right? I don't know. It's over here. Is it? I've never used my Did you see where it went? No. But the sensors are on. Is it actually on the ground? I don't know. It's, it's still going. Drama at celebration. <laughs> at least we've got a thumbnail now. <laughs> Click mate. I don't think I'm gonna go that close. We got it guys! I got it! No! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Very bizarre! It's not interference from mine, is it? It could have been. It's alright! Shouldn't do that though, they're on different frequencies. Panic over! Thankfully, drone successfully found at the side of the water, although it was a bit precarious for Steve to go and have to collect it. Don't want his arm written off. Written off. No, I'm not getting a drone at all. I can barely control a camera. <laughs>
Community Church. Pumpkin patch opening September 29th. A gorgeous day. Oh, this is amazing. I've never seen so many pumpkins in one particular place. I was like, golly, I've never seen as many pumpkins in my life. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> Hot love. <laughs> oh my Christ. Shine God's light. Oh, I quite like this lumpy one. I yell lumpy pumpkin. Oh wow, this is insane. Oh, look at the cat. This is like a proper church community little pumpkin patch it's really cute wonder what Stephen thinks to it can I just say look at the state of my shirt it is like so hot this is fantastic this feels like proper true America doesn't it yeah it's brilliant honestly it's so can't put into words just I mean, you buy a pumpkin and then you yeah. give them to family or you give them to the neighbourhood. So we might just make a donation to the church yeah. just because obviously we've spent some time here, so that'd be nice. So you can scan to give or you can just pop some money right in there. Well, just checking it out then. <laughs> <laughs> the weather before we took it off. <laughs> oh, keep going, keep going, stay. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming in. Funny ends. <laughs> Everybody in. <laughs> so after after that downpour, we managed to get the roof back on. We have now made it to the Antiques Mall at Lakeland. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're just about to head inside. We just have to sit in the car for a few minutes until the rain yeah, totally. settled off. Um, but we have made it to the Antiques Mall. We don't want anything. We're not looking for anything in Sorry. particular. But are you all right there? I a love bug on my neck. <laughs> um, but we'll see what we find inside. I think there's treasures to be had Absolutely. and tapped 
to be seen. And Jamie loves to go to a nice antique mall back in the UK to have a rummage through. Oh, I love a rummage love through. A rummage. Um, so we'll see what we see and we'll show you what we see. The good, the bad, and most definitely, the ugly. That's not me as a reference to ugly, FYI. So right outside, Stephen, what does it say about this carriage here? Have a look, what's it say? Please do not climb or sit on this carriage. Oh, I thought it gave us some information about what it was oh, from. Exactly. Well, pull it down. So this is... There you go. Uh, Port Orleans original carriage using the Disney Resort. Come inside Come. and make an offer. Yeah. Ten pounds. It says... Come inside and make me an offer. Port Orleans original. Yeah. So let's head inside. Oh wow. I'm not sure what to think. Oh wow. Oh gosh. I don't know where to start. I literally do not know where to start. It's very similar to a antiques place near us. Although that sounds a bit stupid actually because it's, it's like any antiques place you've ever been in your entire life. They're all the same. Not quite sure where to look what to buy, what's an antique, and what's just not. We've also got to think about, actually, we've got to see something we like and then be able to get it back on the plane. So sometimes you might look at something and think that's nice, so like I've just looked at this frame here, I'll show you, and it's got all things from the Wizard of Oz, which I think it looks really cool. I mean, the frame's a bit battered, but it's all pretty cool. But I'm gonna stop looking at it because, well, I can't get it home. So there's no point in starting to fall in love with something if you, if you can't get it home. A lot of this stuff we can get home, whether we want to or not, it's a different thing. And with any antiques place, there's obviously nobody dusting anything. They will be absolutely 100 percent there will be some gems of things you're going to find in here that you're absolutely going to fall in love with mark my words what it's absolutely massive mark my words mark i can't even say it i'll start again mark my words you will find something in here that you will love promise and we will probably leave here with something that we love we certainly can't get this on the plane. And it's also $10,000. $10,000, do not sit in or climb the chair. Photo op, scan me. I mean, this case here of lounge flies. Now, I've seen this lounge fly actually in the parks this week. So I'm not quite sure that is actually an antique. You've seen some nice artwork, Stephen? Oh, I think we looked in the very pixelated, which makes me think I've just printed and not $35 as well, so I'll leave it to Yeah, printed, potentially on poor quality paper. Mm. Again, like I keep on saying, there will be, there will be a lot of shit, but there will be some gems. So I've seen the first thing that I like, this Oswald tote bag. Uh, which I think is pretty cool. Oswald, the lucky rabbit. And that is priced at $22.99. What's that, Stephen? Like a trinket plate, it's only fifteen dollars. So I know it's not really an antique, but it's yeah, nice, isn't it? It is nice. 
So here we have a good collection of Funko Pops. Stephen is trying to look at one, trying to find one in particular. Which one's that, Stephen? Moaning Myrtle. I like her. I can resonate with her. <laughs> she might not even exist, but she's actually she's a, she's quite a big character. So we've just been onto Google to see if they actually do a Moaning Myrtle and um, Harry Potter in a Funko Pop. They do and they uh, retail at around about $40. So that's the hunt to find one of those. If it comes under $40, oh my God, I've got to share one. If it comes under $40, then great. Oh my God, look. Well, it's about as plastic as share, so. <laughs> Stephen. Half, half a battle one. <laughs> that's definitely one for my Stephen Wilton. Hi, Stephen. Yeah, it's just plastic like the original. <laughs> Very harsh. The problem with those Funko Pops is, I know my husband, I know he can get a little bit obsessed with stuff, so before you know it, his bedroom looks like Gary C's. <laughs> Bigfoot for president. Well, might be a better option than the two. It's like a sensory overload for the eyes, because there's so much hung up, around, stood, you're not quite sure where to look. One for Sam and Kira. So here we have a Kodak 100 year Olympic limit edition pin set. I love the Olympics. Do I love it enough to buy it? Not sure, where would I put it? Not sure. Is it iconic? You betcha. What's that Stephen? It's daddy's favorite song. Oh, daddy's Souls. Oh, Daddy. Camels, ah. set you right. Aye. Yeah, we do. Stretch to an early grave. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the old, um, Look at the old Coca Cola cast register. That is fantastic. It looks great. I wonder oh, if it does. Oh, nothing happens when you press the button. Yeah, but apart from being your right setting is brilliant. I wonder if you press no sale, would it open? Oh, nothing happened. Oh, I say. Oh, I thought we were at Typhoon Lagoon. Yes, is it, Lucy? Imagine vlogging on one of those. Classic cameras. Super cute. That is $30. I'm sure if you were a baseball fan, this would be pretty cool. They look pretty cool. Range from forty dollars, seventy-five, ninety, a hundred. Wow, that one's a hundred and eighty. Sorry, I don't know how well that's coming upon because they're in a, a glass cabinet. Apologies, but yeah, the range from oh my god, that's two hundred ninety dollars. Jose Fernandez, two thousand thirteen All Star Ball, signed JSA cert. Two hundred ninety dollars. So really famous. Anybody know who Jose Fernandez is? Drop us a comment. This looks another pretty cool little section. Lots of Coca Cola stuff. Very iconic, isn't it? Coca Cola, one of the most iconic brands in the world. We're yeah. still on the hunt. Moaning Myrtle. For Moaning Myrtle. A bit of death for me. <laughs> oh wow! Look at the um, Coca Cola Funko Pots, Cola Santa. Oh, I quite like that. You like it? Yeah, how much is it? Have a look, Stephen. Come round. Come round. Come round. For Santa. Santa. Coca Cola Santa. I think they're about seventeen dollars from the other ones I've seen. Is it? Yeah, nineteen dollars ninety nine. I quite like that. I quite like it. Do we get it for Christmas? Yeah, let's get it for Christmas. Come on, Santa, you're coming on with us. <laughs> Straight in his basket. Oh, we haven't got a basket. Loads of Disney classic postcards, which are really cool, especially this one. Walt Disney featuring Donald Duck in Chippendale. Oh, we could get um, postcards for all our patrons. Oh no, we don't do a patron. No thanks. We are going to Mickey's Not So Scary tonight and the time now is 20 past two. Time has just absolutely flown by today. But we need to probably like be wrapping up here and getting back for at least four and heading out for about five. Oh God, we might even be late. We're gonna have to get really ready really quick. We're gonna have to get ready quick. Stephen has now found a full Funko Pop stall where we may get our hands 
on Moni Merkel. Let me start from this side. Let me see if I can spot her. And there's more. There's absolutely loads. There's hundreds. Now, look at these. This one here of Walt and Mickey. $1,295. Steamboat Willie. $325. Lovely stuff. He's getting excited about something. Sarah Winifred and Mary. Yeah, and then the glass cabinets will be about fifteen, six dollars each. Are they? Snow White, no man in there. There's a big Disney area down here. Oh, is there? We have made it to a Seven Eleven because we need a drink. I don't know whether to get a big gulp. Apparently, apparently, very good value for money. Don't know what I'm going to get though. Big gulp. Well, I won't get that one that, that big, but whatever you want. That's extra large. Oh, right, okay. Well, just get a large one, not an extra large. There's no need for an extra large. In fact, anyway, get an extra large. Stephen, have you seen what's over there, though? So we decided to go for a wild cherry Fanta. Two seconds. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, I was. I'm just saying, it's on full wipers. This is a Floridian storm. <laughs> so, yes, I am going to talk, Jane. Get in frame, Stephen. Get in frame. We have just made it in to Mickey's Not So Scary. It was a little bit down to the wire because we were late getting out of the antique mall. Then there was delays on the motorway. Then there's been lots of rain, but we are here. So let's show you. It looks very similar to how it looked the other day. It does, but in... what doesn't is everyone who's in costumes, some really good costumes that we've seen so far. Yeah, some fantastic costumes. So it looks very similar to what it did the other day, but this way to Not So Halloween's party, there you go, you see? That way, while they get rid of all the people coming out at six o'clock. We were able to book these tickets uh, beforehand because we were staying on resort. I think it was about 90 days before. Yeah. I could be wrong on that, but we phoned up Walt Disney Travel Company and booked them through. Uh, um, I'll let you know how much it costs. In fact, I'll insert it down below because I'm not 100% sure. We are just heading in. How excited are you, Lucy, on a scale of one to 10? 500. Ah! <laughs> we're all excited. Ah, oh, this is awesome. We have some big kids in the house. What's up? Don't be enjoying that. This said dance party happening over tomorrow, Liam. The place to be. What's up, friends? Woo! Look at those tentacles. Looking fantastic, my friend. <laughs> and you trust Dapper to the score? Oh. My heart. Look at this. Oh. Big. <laughs> Brilliant. Amazing. See that guy's tentacles? <laughs> <laughs> Shake it up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! That got me off the hook, didn't it? Welcome, darlings. You're a walking rainbow, aren't you? Full of joy and happiness. I'm already bored. 
<laughs> I am too. Well, look at that. You're in your Halloween jammies, are you? Well, that's good. If you pass out today, we'll just throw you in the carriage and put you to bed. We love you, Cruella! I don't know if you know this, but I'm always looking for new henchmen. <laughs> you would be fantastic! <laughs> Hello. I like you in purple. Very out and in. So we're being directed in a very orderly way to try and get all the general population out yes. and all the VIPs in. Because we've just arrived. This is the most important part of the night. That is. Oh, here we go. Thank you very much. I shall enjoy filling those. Let's do this. Yay, let's boo this. One bag of M&M's deposited in my boo bag. So we're just gonna see if we can get on Tron as we've just come in, because the time now is 6.30. However, it's looking like Tron is closed between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. It's not coming upon the app, um, but we're gonna have a walk over and just make sure that's right. We also want to know where Jack and Sally are because Lucy needs a picture with her and him. Um, so we think they are over at Haunted Mansion. So we're currently heading to Tron and it's a 35 minute wait standby. Exciting. Exciting, me and Stephen have never, never ridden it before. So it is super exciting. Standby line is confirmed at 35 minutes. So let's do this. Wow. Woo! Oh my God! I am super, super excited for this. On, it's now 20 to seven and we are heading on to Tron. Tron Life Cycle Run is a thrilling high speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. Dirt. Prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. To Mickey's not so scary, guys. It's a walk on. We're excited, team. Sorry, team minus Disney wife. Sorry, bye. Wow, wow, wow.
We currently have our bag stuck in the other side. So I'm hoping she's going to open it and poke her head through in a second. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So we've just got off of Tron. Stephen, what did you think? I think it's probably up there, one of my favourite rides. Honestly, it's so, so fast, so smooth. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? You can absolutely 100% tell that it's a brand new ride. Last well, time, you say brand new, it's been open a couple of years. Yeah, so last what? time we came in September 2022, I don't think it, it was just about to open, so we missed out. So this is the first time we've rode this. It was delayed and delayed and delayed, yeah. and we kept in came in September 22, and it was still delayed, so we didn't manage to ride it. But we are back September 2024 and riding that bad boy. It's real. That first launch is absolutely It just keeps getting terrific. faster and faster. And you think, is it going to stop getting faster? And it just keeps getting faster. It's just, I think it's the leaning forward position that makes it feel quicker. There she blows. <laughs> absolutely Amazing. first class. Loved Amazing. it. We are now heading in to Space Mountain. So we are straight off Tron and now onto Space Mountain, which is posting a 15 minute wait. So just been on Space Mountain, it was showing a 15 minute wait, but it actually took four and a half minutes. We actually turned right instead of left, which is the first time, it's a lot more fierce, isn't it? Turning yeah, down. I don't like it. It's very dark. <laughs> it's very dark. It's not a ride for me. It's just too dark. It's too it's too shaky. But yeah. it's a classic, isn't it? But we've walked out and it's just started to rain. There are storms. However, uh, expected all night. It ain't gonna dampen our spirits. Not at all. So we're gonna have a dance party to see what's going on. But before we head to the dance party, we are just heading into Monsters Inc. to get some more of what we see. Treats. So every time you see the big yellow inflatable things, get yourself in there and fill up your bag. So it appears that it's taking longer to get the candy than it actually was to get on Tron. <laughs> People like to fill the boots, don't they? Get the money's worth. And so am I. People love candy. Lucy's following Cruella. That took about 10 minutes. Thank you, Anna. Oh no, we don't have to watch this, do we? Where's Lucy and Stephen? They're over there. Oh, bless you. You won't be able to see in here, but I shall be tucking into those later. Bloody Cruella. <laughs> nice, a nice, little, nice little bag there, my love. Ooh. Oh, you got old. I know. I like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The weather has taken a turn for the worst. We are now getting on Haunted Mansion. We've all got ponchos on or umbrellas up. Let's hope it might ease off over the next hour or so. Thank you, Alex. I won't. So we're out of the Haunted Mansion. It is still raining. But we're now going into Mickey's Full of Magic for treats. More treats, Stephen? Yes, please. Although, to be fair, I ate uh, three Snickers on Haunted Mansion, so I could do with a little top up. So we are hungry, so now we've come to Pecco's Bell to grab some food. We've 
literally had nothing since breakfast. No, absolutely so not a thing. So we've just ordered food. I've ordered two of the burger, the Cajun burgers in a black bun and two regular Cokes. And the total was $43. Welcome to Disney. So we finally got our burger after waiting what seems like an age. But here we are and we'll let you know how it's like. I've told you how much it is already. Oh, our little smurfs. So we finished our food in Peco Bells. Bells, Bells, Bells. Peco Bells. Peco Bells, thanks Lucy. One of them. Um, I had the uh, black Cajun burger. It was a bit weird, but it was all right. It was nice. Yeah, it tastes like it had like an ash brown, but I don't think it was an ash brown, but that's what it tasted like. Yeah, it was all right. I the service mine. was extremely slow in there, but mm -hmm. never mind. We are now camped up outside the castle, ready for the fireworks that start at 10 p.m. And it's finally stopped raining as well, which is good. Yes, which is good. We have no longer got ponchos on anymore, which is great. But now we're in outside the castle, so we'll show you that. Be sure to keep your eyes open, for you never know what may happen on Halloween. <laughs> Disney's not so spooky spectacular begins in just 10 minutes. <laughs> Some friends found out on a night much like this one. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, zero! Here, boy! Zero! Where is that dog? So we've just finished the um, 10 o'clock fireworks and wow, yeah. We have literally just picked his jaws off the ground. Pyrotechnics, theatrics, the lighting. What about Jack? Look, Jack Skellington came out. We didn't even notice him at first. And then next thing is gang little legs and arms are there. Getting How was he being controlled? Was there somebody no in there? Uh, there's so many questions. The best show I've ever seen in any the music, the fireworks were incredible. Oh. I don't know how much we're going to be able to show in terms of music and copyright and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I'll try my best to keep as much in, but it might be a bit choppy, uh, or it might have ha it might have been a, it might it might have been a bit choppy. So apologies for that, but uh, yeah, it was absolutely sensational. Now we're going to go and try and meet Jack and Sally down Main Street. 
so let's go and have a look. They've actually not been down Main Street because when, when, when we came in, they filtered everybody to the right yeah. and we were getting all the general population down Main Street, so now we'll be able to go and see Main Street. It's just been raining quite a lot as well, so we've kind of spent most time at the Frontier Land area, so now we're going to enjoy Main Street now it's not raining. Yes, and there's no more rain forecast until about midnight, but only 20% chance, so let's hold, hope, fingers crossed, there is no more rain. Let's go and check out Main Street. Sisters, it has been 
31 years since we've last written. We're getting better at this. And it is all Hallow's Eve, our favorite time of year. Hey, Winnie, remember what happened on our last Halloween? We turned the dust! Dust, 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 dust! Oh, yeah. I'm just little old Oogie Boogie's You know, the shadow on the moon at night. Another party to which I wasn't invited. Maleficent! Oh, great one. If we thought you would have come, we would have invited you for sure. We are not worthy! Maleficent! You know, she's greener than I thought, and those horns are not so me. I'll consider it but an oversight then. Eye to eye. <laughs> Listen well, all of you. If it is frightful friends that you request, each incantation calls forth a gift. It's now Stephen's official birthday. He's 40 today. <laughs> what, these two? <laughs> Winnie? Now I think you can agree that Main Street looks amazing this evening. Absolutely amazing. So we have watched the parade, we then have watched the Sanderson sisters and it's been absolutely brilliant. What a great event hosted by Disney, it's been an absolute great. The Sanderson sisters Yeah, the characters that they played were absolutely fantastic, so. And when the clock struck 12, I turned 40. It's Stephen's birthday, so wish Stephen happy birthday in the comments. Happy 40th birthday, Stephen. Um, and what a lovely day to spend it. And what a lovely day to spend it. The time now is quarter to one. Um, the park's shut, but we're just gonna hang around for a while. No rush to get back. Um, we've got Ohana's in the morning to celebrate Stephen's birthday. And then tomorrow we are at Epcot to celebrate his birthday. So join us next week on that vlog where we go to Epcot, Ohana and Via Napoli for our dinner. Um, until then... Bye all! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Steven! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Make a change, time is up we can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me light, show me love Show me light, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me light, show me love This is all we got Show me light, show me love This is all we got Show me love Show me love